Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tarot. The sun is blinding me. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. There are current thoughts and feelings. This reading is timeless, and for this reading, there are four different options. This is option one. Damn, that sun is bright. This is option two. Option three. And quattro, option four. As always, timestamps will be provided. Don't overthink it. Just think of your person of interest. Take a deep breath and make your selection. If you chose one, here is your reading, starting with the Pulp Tarot. Six of Pentacles, Seis de Oro, Six is Venus. King of Pentacles, Ray de Oros. Seven of Wands, Eight of Bastos, Seven is Pisces. Miss Cleo's Tarot. The Empress, Venus. Six of Coins again. Two of Staffs, those to Bastos, two is Cancer. King of Spades, King of Swords, Ray de Espadas, Five of Diamonds, Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros, Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo, Three Sagittarius, Three of Hearts, Three of Cups, Three of Copas. Okay, usual caveat. Please keep in mind that I'm reading for a global audience. This is not a personal reading. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. All of the info, including client testimonials, is included in each and every description box. So all I'm doing is interpreting the cards that I put down. This is what I see going by these cards on the table. I see someone who is very attracted to you. They can see your value. They can see your worth. They find you to be very attractive. But at this time, they cannot offer you a solid, committed, monogamous relationship. I do see that you and this person have a lot in common beyond the chemistry. You could be co-workers. You could have a hobby in common. Maybe you both collect art. You create art. Maybe you're both musicians. So you have stuff in common and this person's attracted to you. But I would not say they're currently in love with you. I see them resisting this connection. They could have you in a very specific category, friends with benefits. For some, this could be a situationship. This person could be married to someone else. We do have the husband card. But I don't see them being in their feelings. I don't see them being emotionally available at this time. Their thoughts of you are good, but 
their thoughts are not obsessive. They're not just sitting around thinking of you nonstop. They're not fantasizing about you. Um, basically, what I see here is a sexual friendship. A lusty friendship. This is very dry energy. We have air and earth. This person could have sun and Taurus. Gemini rising. Moon and Cancer. That's just one possibility. One is Leo, six is Venus, seven's Pisces, two is Cancer, eight is Capricorn, three is Sagittarius. So nine is the number making Aries the dominant energy. You're two separate people, obviously, living separate lives. I don't see union. I don't see you being together in a committed relationship. person could be a Christian, they could be religious, they could be living by a very rigid moral code, fawn, could be a hunter. I can see this person with guns, I can see this person hunting, could be an SI dom in MBTI terms as introverted sensing. I'm seeing someone who's very earthy, someone who's very adept at 3D stuff, not especially spiritual. Visa. This person's very business savvy. Of course, savvy is spelled S-A-V-V-Y. They're very frugal with their money, very conservative. Oh. Venus, not the correct spelling, of course. It would be V-E-N-U-S. But almost have five. <clears throat> this person could spend a lot of time on their appearance. Maybe they drive a van. We almost have naive. Okay, yeah, that's what I see for one. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. the rose quartz too. Here's your reading starting with the pulp tarot, the hermit, El Armitano, Virgo. Page of one, so did a Bostos, Ace of Pentacles, Oste Oros. Miss Cleo's tarot. Three of coins, three to Oros, three Sagittarius. Seven of coins, eight of the Oros, seven is Pisces. Temperance, La Templanza, Sagittarius. Three of clubs, three of wands, three to the Bastos. Seven of hearts, seven of cups, eight of Copas, 
King of Diamonds, King of Pentacles, Ray of Oros. Okay, this person's not currently in love with you. They're attracted to you. This is similar to Pile 1. I see the sexual attraction. I see that you have things in common, perhaps your coworkers. Or, like I said, for Pile 1, you could have a hobby in common. You're both into music, you're both musicians, you're both artists. Strong Earth vibes. We have King of Pentacles again. So this person could be a Taurus, Virgo rising, Moon and Sagittarius. Of course, that's one possibility of many. There's a lot of projection here. I don't feel like this person sees you as you truly are. I don't feel like you really know each other that well. This is pretty surface, pretty superficial. Um, they like the way you look. They like your energy. You make this person laugh, but no, they're not currently in love with you. All we have for water is Seven of Cups. That can be about infatuation, but... I don't read reversals, as I've said numerous times at this channel. I only read cards in the upright. I pay attention to the position of the cards. And the way the Seven of Cups is positioned, I'm not seeing infatuation. Okay. Now, there is potential here to have Seven of Coins, Seven of Pentacles in the center. It could be that you just started talking. And there's a lot of flirtation, maybe. But this has not had time to really grow into anything. Yeah. When this person thinks of you, they smile. I can see you making this person laugh. But they don't have the deep feelings yet. If you like the Zodiac readings, check out my second channel, Psycho Tarot. I did a live stream with my Leo husband last night. We did the runes and the cards, all signs. Four is Aquarius, eight is Capricorn, three is Sagittarius, seven is Pisces, so seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven. So two is actually the number making Cancer the dominant energy. This person cares about you. I don't see any bad feelings. I don't see any malice. I don't see any toxicity. I don't really see any red flags here. This just looks very fresh, very new with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This is not someone you've known for years and years. Cat, Katie, Kaya, Fate, Five, this person could have Sun and Taurus, Mercury and Gemini. Mercury is always in the same sign as your sun or the sign before or after. KY Jelly, Kentucky, Alaska, yuck. And that's the T for pile two. Hope that helps. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. All the info, including client testimonials in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. You chose three. Here is your reading, starting with the pulp tarot, chariot, el carro, cancer, four of wands, cuatro de bastos, four is Aquarius, five of wands, cinco de bastos, five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo, Miss Cleo's tarot.
Oh, wow, we're not even at 20 minutes yet. This is going super fast. Seven of staff, seven of wands, eight of the bastos. Seven is Pisces, three of cups, three of copas, three Sagittarius. Four of coins, four is Aquarius, quatro de oros. Two of spades, two of swords, those three of spadas, two cancer. Another four, four of coins again. Nine of spades, nine of swords, nine of the spadas, nine of Aries. I'm not sure what's going on here exactly. This looks really karmic to me. It looks really challenging. I feel like you're on different pages. I feel like you want two very different things. You want a serious, committed, romantic relationship, and this person just wants the good time. This person could be an addict, drug addict, alcoholic, porn addict. I feel like this person runs hot and cold. One minute, they're love bombing you. They're bl just blowing up your phone, just flattering the hell out of you. And the next, they're going ghost, radio silent. This could be an on-again, off-again connection. You may have recently blocked this person, and you're wondering how they feel about being blocked. I feel like you have pretty intense arguments. I feel like you both are really good at using words as weapons. You weaponize the language. You know how to trigger and hurt each other. But I'm not seeing the deep feelings. This just looks really karmic and toxic to me. Um, your higher self could be telling you, you need to walk away from this and wipe the dirt from your hands. You need to let this fucker go. But as the cliche goes, the heart wants what the heart wants. As I often say, sometimes you have to bitch slap the heart because I don't see you being served by staying in this. I see constant struggle, conflict, drama, the communication leaves a lot to be desired. I feel like this person's just dragging you down. Who needs that? They could have Sun and Pisces, Taurus rising, Moon and Gemini. It's just one possibility. But I feel like this person has a very difficult personality. They don't get along with most people. This person's struggling. They could be struggling mentally. Perhaps they have a diagnosis and they aren't taking very good care of themselves. If this person's in love with anyone, it's themselves. I'm not saying they're a narcissist, but they're definitely narcissistic. And they're just, they're simply not conscious. Okay. Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Six, Venus, 11, two, Cancer, another six. So six and six is 12. That's three, Sagittarius. So eight is actually the dominant number. Capricorn's the energy. This person is not giving off Capricorn vibes at all because usually... A high-functioning Capricorn is very self-aware, very disciplined, very hardworking, very productive. This person's messy. Perhaps you have strong Capricorn in your chart. 
And if that's the case, you can definitely do better than this. If you've got strong Capricorn, you've got class and you've got good sense. And this is not a gratifying, sensible, uh, smart connection. I see you being a lot more intelligent than this person. Australia. Hmm. Let's see words that I will not spell. Drats. Does anyone say that anymore? Drats. Star. You could have Capricorn and Aquarius in your chart. Start me up, the Rolling Stones. Rats. Maybe this person was born in the year of the rat. Could be a plumber. This person could be a plumber. All we're missing is the N. They're good at unclogging drains. Raid, or they could work for Orkin, Pest Control. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. Art. I can't see this person being an artist, but you never know. Yeah, that's pile three. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. chose Quattro for. Here is your reading starting with the Pulp Tarot. I cannot see. The sun is blinding. I could close the blind. Un momento por favor. It's just ridiculous. It's a beautiful damn start. Ace of Cups, Ostacopas. Ooh, Ten of Cups, the Ostacopas. Ten's Leo. And Ten of Wands, the Ostacopas. Miss Cleo's Tarot. Will of Fortune, Sagittarius, the High Priestess, Cancer, Nine of Swords, Number the Espadas, Nine of Aries. Ten of Spades, Ten of Swords, the Espadas. Six of Diamonds, Six of Pentacles, Seis de Poros, Six of Venus. And Jack of Clubs, Knight of Wands, Clay of Mistos. Okay, I see this person being obsessed with you. It looks like this is an ex. This could be an ex. This could be someone you were married to, you lived with. Um, could be an on again, off again connection. If you chose Pile 4, this is not casual. This is not someone you just started talking to on Snapchat, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter X, Instagram. This is someone you've known for at least five years. This is someone you have history with. So, yeah, an ex. Um, this person sees you as their person. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as the love of a lifetime. I could hear this person complaining about you, conversely, paradoxically inexplicably, I can hear them complaining about you to other people or just saying negative things 
saying negative things about you, but they have these deep feelings. If it appears that this person has moved on, if it appears that there was someone else, I can tell you that that relationship is not going to last because they talk about you constantly. And if they are with someone else, they're going to get really tired of that. They feel like they're always in competition with you. They can never live up to your standards. Um, they can't live up to this person's standards. They can't compete with you, basically. So as weird as that sounds, well, it's common. It happens. Um, they have this deep love for you, but it's very complicated. They have a lot of anger and resentment because they're not conscious. They've not done the work on themselves. They're projecting all their shit onto you. If this is an ex and the relationship failed, they aren't accepting accountability for the part that they played in this. They're putting it all on you. But their feelings for you are very intense. But it's not sweet. It's not tender. It's complicated as hell. And it's a bit dark. You would think with the Ace of Cups and all these tens that it's not dark at all, but this person has some stuff to work out. Um, they're probably not on a spiritual path at all. I see them being in the dark. I see them not being conscious. This is someone who would not know where to begin with doing shadow work because they're not accountable. Yeah, if you're wondering about someone you just started talking to or someone you just kind of been flirting with, this is not your pile. There's a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot to unpack. You may not have been married, but I feel like at the very least, you lived together. You shared a home. You shared resources. So their thoughts of you are all over the place. I see them thinking of you obsessively. They have you on a pedestal, but I see them, again, bad-mouthing you to anyone who will listen. And if they're with someone right now, it's getting really old because they talk about you a lot. Okay. This person has this very immature uh energy they're not emotionally intelligent and it's the energy of two people who when you were together when they had you they took you for granted they didn't treat you very well but now they see you as the one that got away and they're kicking their own ass in private so I feel like this person has a lot of stuff, or at least they have a luminary in the 12th house. So, for example, they could have Sun and Cancer, Leo rising, which would put their Sun in the 12th house. Yeah, they could have Sun and Cancer, Leo rising, Moon and Sagittarius. That's just one possibility. But I feel like this person has their work cut out for them. They are very karmically challenged, let's say. One is Leo, five is Mercury, six is Venus, another six. So six and six, that's 12, that's three. Jupiter Sagittarius. I feel like this person is very blunt with the truth. They have a tendency to put their foot in their mouth. They don't have any tact. Heed my advice. If this is true, if this resonates at all, I would strongly suggest a cord cutting. I would try to detach from this energy. I wouldn't stay in this.
Maybe they like to eat beets. NGL, not gonna lie, this looks toxic. If this is an ex, I don't feel like they were warm when you were together. I don't feel like they held you, I feel like they were very selfish. They were not a good lover. Ben. Okay, yeah, that's what I see for four, and that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.